good morning all of you in this session we are going to start with the 10th class chemistry and physics where unit 4 refraction of light at curved surfaces series number 9 is going to be discussed in this uh, example and application oriented view of thinking is going to be covered by the series number 9 the entire unit 4 of refraction of light at curved surfaces is going to be completed all this unit made into 1 to 9 series is all these uh, detailed explanation part is available on the channel called world of competitive chemistry earlier we also completed unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 and even unit 5 of this 10th uh, class chemistry and physics so all are available on the channel called world of competitive chemistry let us enter into our today's concept right so here example is going to be practiced here already we got the derivation for the equation lens formula lens makers formula everything we got derived in the previous session and examples laboratory activities and uh, what are the situations and what are the rules and protocols in order to uh, apply these uh, lens formulas to the different kind of lenses and also what will be the change in the position and size of image based on the position of uh, object with respect to the focal length and also center of curvature right so now we are going to discuss about the problem based on all these assumptions what is the focal length of double concave lens most of the cases we discovered or uh, we discussed about convex lens but here reciprocally they are asking about concave lens what is the focal length of double concave lens kept in the air with the two spherical surfaces ready R1 is equal to 30, R2 is equal to 60 centimeters. Take the refractive index of the lens as n is equal to 1.5. Already we know the equation. After the entire uh, derivation called the lens makers equation, that is given as 1 by f is equal to n minus 1 by 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. So this is the equation, right? So this is the lens maker equation where R1 is given within the problem as 30 centimeters. and the second is about r2 is equal to 60 by applying sign convention formula minus 30 it will become and uh, refractive index of the lens is given by n is equal to 1.5 all these parameters can be substituted in this equation 1 by f is equal to 1.5 n is the refractive index 1.5 this is the uh, what absolute refractive index of the lens 1.5 minus 1 uh, into 1 by minus 30 being r1 taken as R1 is nothing but radius of the curvature that is given as 30 minus 1 by 60 that is the radius of curvature per second end okay so radius of curvature is calculated from where the light rays are hitting on the surface of this lens from that height to the principal axis this distance was taken as this radius of curvature right so r1 one side r2 in either side so that uh, here minus 30 one side 60 taken in either side being both are opposite sides by applying sign convention it will be taken as minus 30 and the 60 respectively so in the solving all these 1 by f is equal to 1.5 minus 1 into 1 by minus 30 minus 1 by 60 uh, the entire equation is going to be solved and the focal length is calculated as 40 here minus indicated for what it is the diverging lens minus denotes what it is the diverging lens if plus is there focal length value is positive that indicates it is the all the light rays are going to coincide at particular distance that is called a converging lens here negative sign indicates it is the diverging lens right so this is the example what we discussed based on the formula this is the lens maker formula it is one of the application based concept is going to be discussed now a man wants to get the picture of zebra he photographed a white donkey after fitting a glass if the glass fits on to the lens of the camera what photo will he get explain so here application based concept it is so initially he want to take the photo of zebra before going to before going to take the photo of zebra he just captured this white donkey uh, picture okay so after setting all the things uh, white donkey picture was taken and what will be the what will be the uh, photo so what is the condition for that photo what he captured so this is the data collected from vedantu then step by step explanation was given here 
let's start by understanding what happens when the glass with the black opaque strips were taken so glass which is having black opaque strips on that and objective lens of the camera while taking the picture lens let's consider a case when the light rays passes through the lens light rays are allowed to passes through the lens having the half of its blacked out so only half are allowed to move and the remaining will be discarded for such a case the image produced isn't half of the object so in that case half half light captured that gives only half of the object that is not a correct answer since half of the lens was blocked out instead a full image of the object is prepared okay so however the kind of image isn't a sharp so here so we are not able to get the half of the image of the object what we kept but instead it is possible to get the a uh, blurred one instead of a clear picture that's the reason why same can be implied for this uh, picture what he is taking now similarly when the block of the glass fitted in the black stripes it put on the objective lens and the image of the white donkey is clicked so when that was taken so here there is a possibility of blurredness instead of transparent and very clear picture that is the case which going to be happen here so in this manner half of the half of the lens is going to be blocked by white color strips uh, sorry black color strips so that a blurred image formation is possible instead of a clear image by this uh, we completed this entire unit four hope this session will be helpful for your preparation thank you very much for your consistent listening thank you one and all